this is Manjusha Radha Krishnan. I'm the entertainment editor of Gulf News. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce Alu Arjun. And I have to say, it's a proud moment for the actor because his wax figure uh, was unveiled this, after, this evening at the Madame Tussauds. It's a, it's a proud moment for you. It's a reflected uh, pride moment for us as well. Uncanny resemblance between you two. Thank you. Has life come full circle? Is this what every <laughs> actor at some point wants? Absolutely. For every actor, it's a milestone moment because there are very few milestones in your life, you know, for every actor on a global scale as well. Uh, so being etched, you know, as a wax statue in Martin Tussauds is a, definitely a gold class milestone moment for any actor or any celebrity in the world. Right, of course. Um, so it is my big moment. And right. it's my first and it will always be the, the first. Well, oh, am I? <laughs> you, you brought the entire tribe with you. Are they your biggest strengths? Of course, uh, for anybody, I think, or most people, you know, the family is their uh, biggest pillar of support because that's where you spend your, you know, they're the people who actually... How do I say? They deal the most with your core personalities, actually them. So who you are also, you know, a lot of credit goes to them. So I'm definitely yes. Are you the man with the midas touch now with the wax touch as well? But <laughs> say, so don't fly too close to the moon, as they say, to the sun, they say. But okay. in your case, you need to tell us, like, what a phenomenal year. National yeah, it, it, award. Yeah, it's been it's a great been... year. It's been a great year. And, you know, my movie's done really well. And... Um, the last two, three years have been really nice, really nice. Right. How do you go about choosing your uh, scripts? It's so interesting because I see comedy, mm. then I see a movie like Pushpa. Mm. You've become like this pan India star <laughs> long before the term was coined, I think. Okay. Uh, would, you, would you say that you're as mainstream as it gets and proudly so? Is that <laughs> one of your biggest strengths? Well, I, I can't claim that, but if you people say it, then I, I'll just have to stay there and just say thank you for that. <laughs> but how do you choose your scripts? How do I choose my scripts? Honestly, um... Mm, the scripts are an important part of the film, but I always tell everybody that the intention of the project is is the most important thing. So I work with people, you know, who have the best intentions, and I think even sometimes an average script becomes great if you have the best intentions. Of course, of course. And yeah. Pushpa, I guess, mm. was your. It's not a career-defining movie, but I think it introduced you to the rest of India and perhaps even Indians across the globe, right? I do Would think you say it. That? I do think it's a career-defining <laughs> because you know it's it's a it's a good milestone moment that you know a, a, a me as a regional. South Indian actor, you know, the entire film went a pan-Indian actor. There's a huge, you know, section of the audience that have seen this film in theatres. They've seen it on television and stuff, but uh, now they're seeing it on a big screen. So I think it is a milestone moment for me that it's my first pan-Indian theatrical film. So it is a milestone moment for me personally. Uh, in August, it's a big moment for you as well. Yes. And sequels are tough. The first one, I feel you can somehow, mm. but the expectations are soaring high. Are you worried? Are you nervous? Uh, well, um, Honestly, I think it's a, a very a fortunate spot to be in because, uh, you know, having expectation is having lots of love from lots of people. That means they really like the product and then and they're, they're expecting the best to come out of you. And I think that's a great spot to be. And uh, I really hope not to disappoint. You know, I, I, I'm very positive that it's going to be a very, um, how do I say, uh, it, it, the film is coming out. I think it's. It, I think the people will like it. Of course, you know? of course. you're very modest as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, you know, I can't really, honestly, speak too strongly about a film. No matter how confident I feel, or no matter what the gut instincts I get, because it's ultimately the people's choice, and uh, I hope. Uh, they like the film and I'm quite excited the way it's come out. Right. You're one of the few actors who has charisma and also who marries creativity with economics. Mm. All your movies, I love it. You are proudly saying, I want it to be big, better, bolder. Of course. Et <laughs> is, is that what it's all about? Like you have, of course. You know, you're not worried to say I'm a mainstream hero. I'm, no, I'm that. No, no, no. I think um, I, I'm unapologetic about it. <laughs> and I think um, mainstream, uh, you know, Playing mainstream is it's one of the biggest, toughest challenges. Why do you say that? Because, you know, people take it. I went to Jordan mm. recently mm. to watch Hrithik Roshan, not Hrithik, uh, mm. Tiger Shroff and mm. Akshay Kumar dance at one degree Celsius. Mm. Not an easy task. They were shirtless Absolutely. and dancing at one degree. And we were all layered. Is that how tough things get? Absolutely. You know, because... Um, when you do a commercial film, you know, you, you'll be pushing a person to the, his maximum potential. It could be fights, it could be dance, it could be extreme temperatures. And, and also they need to have multi, uh, they need to have multiple skill sets. You need to be a good performer, you need to have an idea about acting, you need to have idea about stunts and choreography, and you need to be a good dancer, you know, in, in case of you want to do songs. So you need to be multi-talented uh, to do, you know, this format of film. So 
physically it's one of the toughest formats for any actor in the world so right. uh, on a global scandal also it's very very hard right i did an interview with you over email in 2019 mm-hmm. you said you want to be the best version of yourself and you yes. work towards it entirely i think four years later do you think you have reached that place where you feel comfortable about who you are you're in a good space as an actor i think i'm in a I'm in a good space. I I still have lots more to go, and I really want to be the best version of myself. Get the most authentic version of myself out there, and uh, and uh, I think that is when you actually reached when you and the world are one. I think that's the point, and that's the that's my <laughs> aspiration to. I want to reach there. Right, national award win. Did it change you? I mean, I saw how happy you were with Kriti Sanand that day, and <laughs> Pushpa, and that to a movie. Generally, when we think of national awards, you think of like mm. very serious cinema. Mm. No, but you had a great song. In it. <laughs> okay. You had a dance movie. You're the king of dance. Okay. You owned it. So did yeah. that? Did you think that getting the national award and now a statue at Madame Tussauds mm. is kind of like the crown? You're having the best. phase in your life would you think yeah that? i would say definitely is a great phase in my life that you know all great things have been coming together and you know i'm having my biggest release in the you know pushpa 2 is one of the biggest it's the biggest expected film in the country you know, we were never at that spot ever in our lives before to be all honest you know we were there as you know as one of the t- good films in the country but it's very different when you're on the scale of the most expected to one of the you know top 10 or top 5 it's a very different spot to be in right here. if you were to choose between great reviews or blockbuster success what would you say you would or is it a combination what would you choose i want everything <laughs> i want everything so are you uh, I, when you do a great job i think uh, it's a universal language that everybody will feel it everybody will be like you know from the masses to the reviews to everybody when you do a great film i think that i think universally everybody will accept it are you audacious i would always like to be in that spot as much as possible Uh, b- both with a uh, lot of but everybody i want everybody you know i want everybody to be happy <laughs> right right what do you do when i know you are the most like you are like a bright spot in the sun okay. but i'm sure there are days when you also want to give yourself a pep talk yeah. what do you tell what does alu arjun tell himself to say you know what things are not so bad come on uh, you know stop stop yourself pitying mode do you go through those phases yeah, yeah of course i out? think every human goes man i just keep saying come back you know we all go off i just keep saying come back come back come back That's all. I keep telling myself, come back. It's okay. Come back. <laughs> of course, and you you are also very keenly aware of your privilege. Uh, you, your dad is a producer. Did, did that really? Do you are you aware of your privilege as well? And where you have reached so far? One hundred percent. I'm a very, in all honesty, I'm extremely privileged. I've been uh, very, very fortunate. Uh, you know, it's it's not so easy. You know, and I cannot. Uh, how do i say it's it's a very fortunate spot to be where i am and i absolutely understand that because when i see you know so many people struggling actors and new come you know people who have self made we have i have ex- utmost respect for people like those right. so of course i do know how fortunate i am to be in this kind of a spot of course and prithvi raj has gone undergone a crazy transformation for the mm. movie called the goat life absolutely would you as an actor as well think about putting yourself to extreme lengths for a role i would I would. Right. I mean, yeah, I would. Yeah, I mean, for a role, whatever the role requires, I would do it. And why do you think hmm? that works? That part of uh, your personality really clicks. Honestly, uh, my uncle Chiranjeevgar is a great dancer, and uh, we do have his. Infl- I do have his influences on me, and also, um, you know, we grew up watching, you know, many Prabhu Deva songs, and also Govinda songs, and you know, Michael Jackson. We're from that era, people, right? So right. all these people's, uh, how do I say, subconscious um, impressions are on me. Right. Definitely there there. Brilliant. And what yeah. would you tell your 20 year old self if you could? Now that you have a statue, you have done well. Yeah, yeah. I think you've ticked all the boxes. <laughs> But <laughs> even then. Not really. <laughs> Not really. What would you tell your 20 year old self, Alu? Uh, to exactly what you did. <laughs> Fantastic. On that note, you did so well. Thank, Thank you, you for entertaining us. Thank you. If you are in a movie, we watch it, and that's the biggest goodwill I think an actor gets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Time. And congratulations. Thank you.